Hey, good evening, everyone. Good evening. This is Calm Vibes, and I'm Jay. Welcome to my channel. Thank you. Welcome. All right. I want to just jump right into this and hit it off. Uh, the situation with Cardi B and Tasha K. All right. So you guys know they had their trial on the 13th, um, and it doesn't look too good for Tasha K. Not good at all. So what I'm going to do is do a quick little spin on everything that's happened so far. Let give you guys an update on what's going on. The trial will uh, resume on January 18th. So I'll come back with another one on that. So before we hit it off, make sure y'all go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button. That like button, that, that thumbs up. And notification bell. And support the channel. Uh, my last channel, I had to start over. Somebody was like really messing with my channels and stuff and it's, it, it just got all jacked up so all my algorithms everything was messed up so i had to start over so just support um like i said it'll be all good you know and you just get mad about it it's just keep moving right so i'm gonna hit it off and um and start this thing out and hang on all right so as you know who cardi b is so tasha k is a youtuber uh very very i say famous youtuber she's over a million subscribers and was doing well until, you know, back in 2019, she put out some videos of Tasha, I mean, um, Cardi B. And over the time of the year, I think she put out over 34 videos. And these, in the videos, um, allegations that Cardi B had, like, several things going on that, you know, seemed to come out to be like, like she's lying on her. So all the things didn't seem to be true. So Cardi B filed a lawsuit. Now she did try to get her to stop it, and um, you no, know, they ceased, you know, with the videos and all the, the comments and trashing her and all this. And Tosh Case, like, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna do me. So back 2019, as you can see, I posted up here. Uh, court documents obtained. Uh, Cardi B and her legal team alleged that Tasha K, when Tasha used her YouTube channel to spread malicious rumors, slanderous assertions, and false information about celebrities for a financial gain. All right, so that's how that all came out. So she got served papers back in 2019. Now, the, the hard part about all this is they in trial now, and it's a jury trial. So it could have been stopped way before that, way before that. You know, it's, that's 2019, it's 2022 before they had the case. So they asked Cardi B to get on the stand, and she broke down. And so this is not good for Tasha K. Because now she gets to tell people, and people get to see how it affected her as a human being so like here it says when the attorney asked her what she thought about Tasha K after seeing the post she replied I felt like only a demon could do that shit and then she had pop then she apologized to Jeff for swearing because you know I caught be is. but she felt like a demon because the things that she was saying about her was I mean, it was some strong stuff, man. It was, you know, you have to have your stuff right if you're going to say something about some people like that because, you know, it's just certain things, especially as a female, and you saying these things about her that can really affect her. And, and right here it says, you know, I felt helpless and hopeless. I was just, it was just a constant harassment. So I guess people from Tasha K team, not team, but fans or whatever, you know, they was coming over and caught Cardi B and saying a little stuff. People just, you know, people, you got people online. They reckless, man. They, they reckless and shit. You just, you got to turn it off. And um, and Cardi B mentioned that she felt defeated, depressed, didn't want to sleep with her husband. And they said all this unfolded shortly after she had her child, the daughter Culture. So, oh, man, the jury is going to eat this up gonna eat it up because she'll say oh my god you know postpartum depression 
then got to deal with this and people coming at you and all this and this. It's like just not looking good, Tasha K. Just not looking good. I'm sorry. It's just not. So, and then she dropped a bomb. I was suicidal at the Tasha K's blog. That is going to hit home with the jurors. Because you made someone feel suicidal from the videos that you put out on them. I mean, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what she was thinking. Once, you know, you messing with a mega star, and once they done told you to stop, you need to stop. Because you're talking about millions of dollars in lawsuits. You ain't talking about like no $100,000. You're talking about millions. So I don't know how much Tosh Kato made over the year. I know, I mean, she made some money. But damn, you're going to let one year take that all away? Like I said, you done had lawyer fees since 2019. So, and it's 2022. So I didn't say what time frame in 2019 it started, but that's a lot of damn money to have a, retain a lawyer that long for this situation against her. So, but here... Um, <clears throat> Just like Carter B talked more about the mental health that, you know, issues that she was going through. And uh, and she mentioned that, you know, after being feeling extremely suicidal and helpless, she also had developed like fatigue, anxiety, migraines. And she said uh, she never felt this before. She never felt suicidal or anything like this before the blogs, before all the, the videos came out. And it affected her so bad that, you know, she said that she can't sleep with her, like, you know, have sex with her husband. She don't feel comfortable or confident laying down with him and all this. And this because some of the things she said about her was real personal. And so, you know, she basically, I come out and said, she just basically came out and said that, Cardi B used to be a prostitute, um, said her father, this all Leslie, Leslie, father raped her, um, she had these STDs to include um, herpes and some other stuff, and it just went on and on and on, and it's like, oh my God, like, why are you coming so hard for her? That's another woman. I thought y'all had this black girl code thing out here, but... I guess not, you know. So, I, I mean, I, I just don't know. But when, when all that stuff came out, like Cardi B, you know, you know, you weren't really thinking about it. You know, she already said all this stuff, but she said what really got her, and this is gonna hit the jury, you know, really hard. She said that she took a picture with her daughter, kissing her daughter. I'm sorry, took a picture kissing her daughter. And someone came on and commented that. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Why are you kissing her? Don't you have herpes? And Carby said that shit hit hard. They said, why are you kissing your daughter? Don't you have herpes? Now, people are vicious out here on these comments and on social media. But, you know, under all that stuff with Cardi B, like, you kind of realize that's, that's just a human being, man. And the thing is, you know, she's a mother. And then you're attacking her and all this. I don't know why it went so deep. I ain't gonna lie. But, you know, at the beginning of all this stuff, Tasha K felt the need to countersue Cardi B. Why? I don't know. But she claimed the fans threatened her and online after all the stuff that came out. But you can't sue someone because of their fans. Now, Carby's like, oh, I need all my fans to go attack her, attack all her, you know, her pages and all this other stuff, her outlets. Then that's a different story. Because you have an influence over them, but she didn't do that. So the, she didn't have no substance with this, so the judge threw that shit out just as quick as it hit the damn desk. So she's out there now just, just fighting for her damn, you know, her survival, basically. So, I mean, 
I don't know what to say to her, man. You know, you just got to do what you got to do. But like I said, you know, once when, you know, when it all come down to the jury looking at it, they're going to look at her breaking down. They're going to look at her crying, talk about how it affected her. And then you're talking about all these sexual things that's, you know, STDs and all this stuff. And her father raped her. And it's like, wow. And she got all this information from some woman said she was her friend before she became famous. And I saw a video not too long last month, Cardi B with her father. Because she was getting on some, I guess she was in Mexico or somewhere, but getting on some people for taking pictures of him. She was saying like, you know, y'all leave him alone. He doesn't have security around him. So I'm pretty sure if he was raping her, she wouldn't be spending time with him. But those allegations are strong powerful allegations and you got the i don't know it just don't look good for tasha k um i will follow up on this january 18th when it all comes out i don't know if they're gonna finish it out or keep you no know, more you know whatever they do with this stuff but i'll bring it to you as soon as i get it so guys don't forget subscribe like comment hit that notification bell to check the next one that comes out. This is Calm Vibes and I'm Jay. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Remember, support the channel. And peace be with you. I'm out of here. Take care, people.